Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So what we're doing here today is a walkthrough of a new deck that I just got. And this is a Kickstarter deck. It is called the A Compendium of Witches. And it's an Oracle deck by Natasia Ilanisiak. Um, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. My apologies. So here is the box and there is her website information. The box is like, um, like leathery almost. It feels kind of weird. It's beautiful though. And it's a two part box, a little bit wider because of the, the cards and because of the little guidebook here. The guidebook is um, 97 pages, and it is broken down into two different, I, I mean, I literally have not been through this at all, so I'm not exactly sure how it works, other than we've got the voices and then we've got the whispers. Let's see. This deck is based on a compendium of witches, an art book published in 2019, which features stories and portraits of fictional witches from across the world in various carefully researched historical settings. In 2020, whilst preparing the book for its second printing, I noticed how perfectly my witches embodied specific archetypes, and so I decided to feature them in an oracle deck. The deck comprised comprises of 60 cards split into 30 voices which are cards depicting witches and 30 whispers which are cards depicting additional symbols okay okay and then we go through each one of the different voices and then the second half is the whispers or vice versa but anyways, we will um, go through that. Um, I'm going to read one out after we get it. Got a sticker, another sticker, which are perfect. This is her card. Places where you can find her. And her Etsy shop and all that if you want to take a screenshot. I will be putting it down below. Just a little thank you note. Came with some art prints. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, so let's just put this over here. Here's the box. It comes with... I actually... I like this box a lot because if you want to remove these now that it's not shipping you can and you have a little bit um, bigger box to make it a little bit easier in order to get them out of just like so so let me make sure this is all out of the way And let's just go through these. Let me see if I can get any closer. Oops, wrong way. All right. Familiar. These are the backs. Aren't they beautiful? Sprout. Pruning. light the cardstock is glorious let me tell you it's not like super thick at all but it's a good you can tell it's a good sturdy i'm not sure if it's in there anywhere it's a good sturdy cardstock the core is really good and the feeling for shuffling i'm sure it's going to be really good we'll test that out standing stone i love that that's gorgeous 
thaw. Beautiful. The staff. Sickle. Mm, look at that staff. Wow, look at that temperance. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Cornucopia. That's beautiful. Her art is beautiful. B. Eventually, I would probably like to get the book. I just, I got the Enchantress enchantress um tier because that's all i could afford at the time but i would like to get the book eventually offering runes here wow look at that go just gorgeous shell pomegranate roots and what I'll do is I'll draw a card for each one, the voices and the whispers, and read out of the book so that you can see how they read. Autumn. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Cauldron. I love it. Oath. Mirror. Teeth. Oh, look at that gorgeous moon. Wow. All right. So now we move into the crossroads. Or I mean the, I think this is the, the voices. Crossroads. The dusk child. Please don't mind my nails. I have to do one. The companion. Oh my gosh. The unbound. That is so beautiful. The preserver. Beautiful. The weaver. The soothsayer. Oh, the hermit. I love it when somebody smiles and you can see it in their eyes. That's beautiful. The explorer. Laborer. Mm, the healer. The storyteller. Look at her. That is beautiful. The Reconciler. The Shaman. I love the finish on these cards. The Memory. Hmm. The Alchemist. The Seer. The Artist. The mystic. The wayfarer. The guardian. The veil walker. Oh, so like the necromancer maybe. The stargazer. The scholar. Oh, the shapeshifter. The Wind Rider, the Oracle, Priestess, look at her, oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous deck, and the Listener. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate these, alright, whoops, alright. 
Oh, and we've got one already. Oh, the comforter. So let's see what it says about the comforter. So remember, the table of contents is in the back here. And that is one of the voices. Um, if I can find it. Oh, 60. Nest, comfort, simplicity, and safety. Her home was filled with joyful sounds, the shelling of walnuts, the idle strumming of the dulcimer, the rumbling of the pot on the stove, the barking of the dogs. And when there were silences. Okay, sorry about that. The comforter speaks of the need for a home, material or not, and of choosing the right elements in building our nest, finding warmth in little things and wholeness in simplicity is sometimes all we need. She represents our safe spaces in which we can find respond or repose. About the witch, Robin Lim spent most of her life on a little farm in the Great Smoky Mountains where she familiarized herself with Appalachian folk magic. She left behind the unfulfilling days spent in the city for a simpler life that provided her with the satisfaction of physical work and quiet evenings by the fire. Wow, isn't that beautiful? All right, so now we're going to take one of the whispers then which are all of these ones. And these just shuffle like a dream. Like a dream. Let's see what comes out. Sorry. No, that's what, okay. Let's do oh, the B. Let's do the B. Let's see what the B says. And the B is 79. B, activity, solidarity, and community. And that's it. They're just little whispers, little hints. Activity, solidarity, and community. How nice. Which makes sense, right? All right. So, have you gotten this deck from Kickstarter? Did you back this as well? And did you already receive your copy? I think the, actually, the Enchantress was the very last one to be sent out. So, I was actually a little bit worried, but I finally got it today. I'm so grateful. Um, thank you so much for spending this little bit of time with me and taking a look at this new deck that I just got. And I am sending you love and light. Thank you so much.